Tom? When Dad died, he had this shit blog he was really proud of. Before Tumblr was a thing. And you would have thought he'd just invented space travel because he was beaming for days. Going upstairs to put another post on. Gotta keep my views up, son. And he would look at me as if to say, we understand each other. But I thought to myself, no fucker in their right mind wanted to know about middle-aged running clubs. And he said to me, that's where you're wrong, son. That's where you're so very wrong. He would say that a lot and try not to let me get to him. Because even though I love, because even though for some reason I used to like to undermine him, even though I loved him. When he signed up for the London Marathon, he linked it to his Just Giving page and it was like he just landed on the moon. Mum said it was unfair that a man that fit should just drop down dead. And her friend said, it's always the ones you least suspect. I told her to go fuck herself with my head, but not out loud, because everyone's looking at you when it's your dad's funeral. Shannon did a lot of fainting, which was annoying. <laughs> and mum kept holding my hand and saying, thank you for keeping it to get this together. We need you to keep us all together. And so I decided I wasn't going to be what they wanted. Online, there are people who create Facebook pages for dead people, relatives, loved ones, pets. My mum wanted me to make a page on his blog to tell people what had happened. They need to know, she said. They're not pen pals, mum. It's not how it works. They'll just think he gave up blogging for a little bit. And then I rolled my eyes at her for a full stop. Sometimes I did check it, just to see if he had any more views. Then I realised I was the one making the counter go up.